Hi everyone, good evening, how are we all doing? Sorry for anybody who was disappointed that there was no video on Sunday. There was no video because, um, just last week was just mad. Um, so you're getting a wee midweek one just to keep things going. Um, and it's a wee bit different. So um, we'll go back to the actual machinery um, in the next video, but this one we are going to take a wee look at the AD plant. So for anybody who doesn't already know, um, we actually run an AD plant um, as well, aside from the contracting and the cows. Um, so we're actually here at the minute and um, we will have a wee walk around and I will show you the crack. So hopefully whenever I go outside side here, you'll be able to still hear everything that I'm going to say to you. Um, where we are situated, um, it's very windy down here because we're just on the edge of the river foil. Um, so fingers crossed, you'll still be able to hear everything I say, but here we go. So here we are. This is where the magic happens um, as such. So this is our two tanks and then this is our Vilfras. So this is the feeder. The primary tank and then the secondary tank. We are just on the banks of the River Foyle, so um, the AD plant itself isn't in our actual farmyard, um, it is just a few miles down the road. So you have your feeder there, um, so that is what we are loading um, the input into. So she's fed once a day. Um, and which is usually first thing in the morning and then she feeds them gradually just throughout the day and uh, through the night. So that's what's going on inside. If you can see that. So this is the inside of the secondary tank. And then this is what, this is a digestive that's going to be fed then over to our storage facility. So this is inside tank one. Um, so you can see the mixer there, the paddle, doing its job. So it is currently about half past seven in the evening. So um, at the minute we are putting in 30 tons a day of silage. So um, she's a bit later being fed there this morning, but she's almost halfway through that. So that'll all be gone. Um, by the time the morning comes. Then this, this is inside the feeder. So you can't really see, but there's big augers down there, um, which then is obviously feeding, slowly feeding the silage um, into the, the primary tank there. So, so it's quite handy. She feeds herself. Um, so that is an automatic pushing door there. Or pushing gate so basically what that does is um, that is set um, to push the silage up at a certain speed um, just continually just throughout the day just to ensure that she's always been fed um, just been fed a continual a continual amount of 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 grass or whatever it is it's on inside the inside the Vilfras there so So we are actually um, using a separator um, on our facility here. So the separator that is up there, basically what that's doing is that's drawing out the, the solids out of the digestate, um, which just hasn't been broken down um, just through the process basically. Um, and what we are doing then is it means then that the digestate that we have is nice and watery. It's a lovely consistency that can be spread easily on the ground. We hit up here because it's blown a gale. Um, so what we were actually fight, were finding um, whenever we were, before we were using the separator, um, we were finding that whenever we were spreading the digestion onto the ground, a lot of the solid material that was still within the, the byproduct was still coming out in lumps. Um, and then as we were growing the grass and mowing it, it was, still, it was just coming straight back into the pit. So that's why we started to use the separator. So we use our 435. That one's not ours just at the minute, that one's Kennedy's, but um, we use a 435 to feed the plant every day. And then this is our flare, so basically what that is doing um, 
any excess gas, or for example, if there's too much gas is generated on the bioline, that's the, that is the, the top of the tank there. If that gets um, too stretched, if there's too much gas contained within, um, it's basically just burnt off. So it's methane gas, so um, it's just burnt back out there again. So, so I suppose in fairly simple layman terms, an AD plant is essentially a concrete cow. Um, what you get out of it very much is dependent on um, the quality of what you're feeding into it. So um, there's a number of different types of digesters, but what we are feeding ours at the minute is purely forage. Um, so there's no waste products, no, no other byproducts that's going in. It is, solely, um, it is solely forage that we have grown especially for it. But I'm just actually sat outside the engine room. I don't know if you can hear that, can you? So that is, that's the noise of the two engines. So this is a 500 kilowatt plant. So we've got two 250 engines in there. So we'll go and have a look at them. So um, this is where we can see what's going on um, and if there's anything that needs to be changed or if there's any alarms, for example, on the system. That's what that wee red light is showing up there at the minute. What I'm about to show you is every, probably every normal person's nightmare. Uh, um, it's quite an impressive cabinet full of stuff. So I'll just show you and turn you around. So this is basically the one big ginormous fuse box. So that is what is running everything there. So this is our control system. So there we go. We can currently see that the temperature there inside both the tanks is sitting at 52 degrees. So um, the mixture inside has to be heated up um, to that temperature. And then that is exactly what generates the gas. So and then these are the pumps, which are pumping them through that. There's our storage facility there, um, which is underneath the big shed. So um, it's quite interesting, you know, to see just how everything how everything um, works together. So we are actually running um, the AD plant just on behalf of um, a company called Assured Energy. Um, so they are um, they are the company who. Who actually owns the plant itself um, so they have 14 other um, plants just in the north of Ireland alone there's a few in Scotland and England um, as well so you'll have seen these silage pits in the background of an awful lot of our videos um, so these are the silage pits that we have um, here for the for the AD plant so there's four big pits here um, and that's first cut and that's first cut so yes that just give you a bit of an idea just how uh, how heavy our crops were um, for first cut that's two silos filled as well and there's a, there's second cut third cut whole crop and maize to go into these last two so just like any good cow the old odd occasion does get sick and things do go wrong and you might have to call a vet. We don't call a vet, we call the engineer Schmager Comp. Um, so they are fantastic. Um, you will not get a better team of engineers or backup or help. Um, they are on call, on standby, um, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. So if you have a problem, if something's not going right, you can't get it fixed. Um, they can either they can jump into the system they can log in remotely or else if they can't fix it there and then they'll jump in the van and come here so so it really is quite an impressive quite an impressive setup you know whenever you actually do see it um you know it's really interesting to you know, to understand just how it all kind of works so the aim of the game obviously is to generate as much methane gas as possible um, which is then obviously turned into electricity which is sold back onto the national grid um, but as well as that 
there's obviously the, the byproduct that's formed called digestate. Um, and if you're not familiar, digestate is one of the best slurry fertilizers that you can actually get. Um, so we spread the digestate back onto the ground, um, which is like a rocket field basically. Here are the pits. So they're they're huge to be fair, they are massive. Um, and that is just what's left of the silage from last year. So that's what we're feeding there at the minute. Um, just uh, obviously to get the pits cleared to get the new stuff in. So this is up in there. That is our first cut. And then that's the rest of first cut there. So we've just started to use a bit of it as well. So um, it's actually quite surprising how much you will actually go through in a very short space of time. Um, so at the minute there we're feeding 30 tonnes per day. Um, so that is just solely silage at the minute. So obviously as the year goes on, whenever um, whenever we get any whole crop cut or any maize, um, we'll obviously maybe start to feed it. Um, but at the minute our gases are going really well. So um, it's happy enough just being fed the, the silage. That we want to generate as much gas as possible because the more gas that we have, the more fuel that we have to get those engines going. Um, and that is how the engines are taken over there um, nicely at 250 kilowatt each. So the engines themselves are actually Scania engines. Um, so they, as I said, they're 250 kilowatt each. Um, so powerful and you see the size of them yourself like so they're, they're quite big the noise in that room is on another level to the point where I actually hate going in there um it's uh I just I just don't like it it's just it's so noisy you just and you, it's um whenever one of them goes off and you have to try and restart it it's terrifying I mean terrifying so this isn't a seasonal thing at all um you know this the digester is, is non-stop, so it's 365 days of the year the digester needs fed. Um, Christmas day, you name it. Actually, um, probably after the birth of both my children, I think my husband came straight here. Um, so yeah, like <laughs> it is, you know, it's uh, it's it's something that, you know, it obviously, you know, you, you can keep an eye on it remotely and you can do everything. Obviously you can see everything that's going on either through cameras or, I'm going to be logging through the system, but um, you know, it is fairly um, intensive and it has to obviously be kept on top of. So, yeah, the AD plant is um, it's something that um, probably, you know, probably if you said to the boys from 10 years ago that they would be doing this, they probably would have maybe ran away. Um, but do you know what? It's like it's like everything else you know currently you have to be very open-minded and you have to be forward thinking you know at the end of the day the boys are on the business and it's the business that, that that is it's keeping my house um you know it's keeping everybody's families um you know and it's keeping keeping so many people in in jobs and stuff so um it is it's important you know to it's important to keep the wheels turning, you know, and um, and just to keep just to keep the business going. The one thing about the um, about the the jester is the you know is the element of um, you know obviously compliance and health and safety that it entails. So um, we do rigorous um, training, and you know there's things like I mean all of the. Um, loading shovels etc have to obviously go through engineering inspections um you know testing the hydraulics to make sure everything is still certified so they go through that every year um and there's continual compliance checks um and continual audits that are actually done on on the the plant itself so um you know it's it's a fantastically well run um you know business um and it's a fantastic thing to be involved in so the the, the guys um, and the Surety Energy and Agri Comp. So there's, I suppose there's, there's a lot of people we work with, but um, keep us all toe in the line and keep us all right on a daily basis. Um, 
and um, it's them obviously that we are kind of um, in communication with and um, it's them that are keeping you know, the compliance side of things right and are keeping um, just uh, everything, everything going. So we do weekly samples so basically what we do is we take a sample um, of the digestive liquid and that is posted back um, over to a lab in England and they take it and they analyse it for um, obviously to see how how good the biology is in the sample to see how good the, the actual breakdown process has been and to see if there's anything that is missing and then we get that feedback then and we are able then to adjust the feed rations just like you would do a cow um, so it's all it's all very um, it's all very intelligent um, but it's very interesting as well at the same time by running the ID plant ourselves we very quickly realised that you know we needed to make sure that the, the silage and the grass that we were cutting um, was of the correct consistency because the smaller and the finer that obviously the grass is chopped the easier it is to break down and the faster that process is all these things are all contributing factors um, to um, you know to, to the machinery that's sitting in the yard so we are usually we would usually cut about um, three cuts of silage um, for the AD plant um, each year and then we will grow whole crop for it as well and me as so as always folks, um, this isn't a biology lesson, the same way as it's none of any of the other videos are um, too informative or too technical. Um, it's just looking nice and plenty of gas in there, so we're happy enough with that, we won't complain. So that is us, there's the AD plant, um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure that you are hitting the subscribe button. Um, as I say, I'll try my best to keep them going. And if there's anything else you want to see or any other ideas or any questions, hit me up. Chat to you soon.